but once we show them the capabilities of the Haas control to program it and all the video content that we have on our website to literally walk you through step by step, anybody can program this. You, you can put this in any shop and we've got the tutorials to walk you through it. Brian, it's a real pleasure to be here in California. The main Haas automation, you're making so many different machines here. But we really want to sort of get, get to into the automation side because obviously what you're offering here is very different. Uh, a lot of customers probably don't know how to get into automation. But walk me through the process as it works on the machines here. So the, the thing that makes it different with us, you can see we've partnered with Fanuc and we offer the Fanuc robot in three different sizes. The thing that makes it different is that all of the programming is done directly through the Haas control. So if you're familiar with Fanuc robots, typically you need to bring in an integrator and they've got a pendant. Don't have to do any of that. In this case, the robot actually plugs directly into the machine and then the entire interface is done through the control. You program picking up the part, loading it into the machine, pulling it out and dropping it off all through the Haas control. Well, that seems quite simple, but what, what, what other aspects do uh, customers have to think about? Uh, for instance, tooling needs? Tooling needs for sure. Um, work holding. Obviously, if you're going to have a robotically tended vertical machining center, you can't have a typical vice, right? You're not going to have an operator. So that's where our HaasTooling.com product line comes in. We offer several different automated ways of work holding. We've got pneumatic vices, um, things like that, so that you can automate it. So when you're talking to a lot of new customers, is the conversations about automation becoming uh, more prevalent than ever yes. before? People initially are a little bit afraid of it, thinking, oh man, that's, that's beyond my capabilities. But once we show them the capabilities of the Haas control to program it, and all the video content that we have on our website to literally walk you through step by step, anybody can program this. You, you can put this in any shop and we've got the tutorials to walk you through it. And that's quite key, isn't it? Because uh, a lot of these uh, videos that you produced are your customers doing it and say, look, yes. look at how I'm using it. Yeah, and that's a big component of it. We, you know, we can tell you all we want, how easy it is, but when we show a potential customer, another customer doing the same thing or something very similar, they can say, okay, well, if he can do it, I can do it too. Um, what's the range of machines that the uh, automation can actually work on? So we go from our, our smaller VMCs, so VF1, VF2, all the way through our medium, VF3 through VF5. And, and where do you see uh, these type of uh, options actually fitting into, into industry? Not necessarily just in the US, but worldwide. You know, we're seeing more and more robots actually go into smaller job shops. So I, anywhere, anybody that's having problem getting qualified operators, which means everybody, can benefit from automation and we're seeing that more and more. And I think that's uh, uh, an entry into and, and some of the uh, thoughts patterns of companies. They sort of say, well, if I'm, if I'm taking automation, then uh, you know, what about the operator? But that, that skilled operator could be doing something else. That's right. And, and that's, you know, we get, we get a lot of that. We get comments on some of our, our YouTube videos saying, oh, this robot's going to take over my job. That is absolutely not what we're finding. What happens is a, a shop owner will bring a robot in and he'll train that employee how to run the robot instead of just loading and unloading parts. So it's a win-win for everybody. So those engineers that may be looking at Haas machines into automation, what can you actually offer them here in California in reference to demonstrations? Well, COVID has changed things up a little bit, but we do have demonstrations. Uh, we, we do offer customers to come into the demo room and see demonstrations. But to be honest with you, most of what we're doing is online now. We have a ton of videos. We had one of our product specialists do a video on how to do the robot from start to finish. So, Do you feel this is going to be a bit of a game changer for us? Oh, absolutely. We're already seeing it. You know, we introduced it, we introduced robots about roughly a year ago, and we're looking at the numbers, and it's pretty amazing. Yeah.